Hello students, I hope you are all doing good. This is Miss Ria, yet again with another video on Scratch. Today we are going to see how to ask questions in Scratch. How to ask questions in Scratch. For that, first let's open the Scratch online editor. In your Google Chrome window, Type scratch.mit.edu and press the enter button. I've already logged in to my account. Now click on create. And here I have my sprite, the stage, the script area the blocks and the scripts so I told you as I told you the topic is how to ask questions in scratch in grade 3 you had learned how to draw shapes you in scratch that is by using two loops in the control block that is repeat loop and forever loop you know that the forever loop is an infinite loop that keeps repeating forever and the repeat loop is a fixed loop that repeats only the fixed number of times. Right? So using these loops we are going to create a program that creates the shape on my stage. Let me change the sprite. I don't want this sprite. Scroll down. Click on sprite over here I'm going to select some other sprite use a butterfly I don't want the cat sprite I'm going to delete this just click on this delete button I have it here I'm going to keep it at the center I'll choose some backdrop I'm a low sky backdrop yes this is it so next I'm going to go to the motion block I want this butterfly to move and turn this is my basic commands right next is to the event block when flag clicked so when the flag is clicked I want it to move and turn yeah so when I click on flag just moves and turns okay so this is not what I want I want it to draw if you want the sprite to draw what should we add which block should we go to yes you are right we need to go to the pen block but we don't have the pen block here so I'm going to add the extension by clicking on this add the pen block extension once I add this it's the pen block is over here so I'll take the pen down command and I will place it over here so now when I click on flag yes it's making a line you see so since the steps are too small it's not visible for me to see the line that is drawing. I'm going to give move 10 steps and turn 90 degrees. 90 degree is which angle? Yes, it's a right angle. So I'll click on play. It makes a line. I'll click on play again. It's one more line. Play and play. Yes, what shape is this? It's making a square because the angle is 90 degree. Okay, if I change the angle here to 45, let's see what it makes. Play, 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 play. What is it making? It's making an octagon, right? I want the place to be clear. Let me click on erase all. Okay, but to run this program, I have to click on play a lot of times. I don't want that to happen. I want uh, it to create the shape in one single press. So for that, we are going to use loops. I'll use a forever loop this time. I click on play. It's making the shape, right? Let me stop this. I want it to make a rainbow colored shape. So I'll go to pen block. All these things we have learned in grade 3. So I'm just going, I'm going to, I'm just recapping through those topics. Change pen color by 10, right? I will place it over here. Let's see what happens now. 
Yes, it's changing the pen color. Right, let me stop it. Let me erase all again. I'll place it in the center. This time I'll give the degrees as 150 and click on play. Yes, what is it making? It's making a rainbow star. Let me stop this. Okay, so my next step is to ask the question. So to ask a question, I need to go to the sensing block. In sensing block, you have this over here, ask. I don't want to ask, what's your name? I want the question to be, how many degrees, how many turn degrees, right? How many degrees do you want to turn? Any degrees? Do you, you want me to turn? So now the butterfly will be asking us, how many degrees do you want me to turn? So I'll click on it, it's asking the question. So I want it to turn 200 degrees, not 200, sorry, 90 degrees. So what shape is it going to make? You're right, it should make square. But is it making square? No. Why is that? Yes, you are right. But the degree is 150. Even if, I, even though I type the answer, it's not taking the answer. So what should I do now? Yes, I need to place this answer over here. From the sensing block, I'm just picking up the answer. I'm dragging and placing in the place of degrees. Now let me click on play. I'll place my butterfly here. So how many degrees do you want me to turn? I will type here 90. Press the this button. What is it making now? Square. All right. Let me stop again. Let me play once again. How many degrees do you want to turn? I will give 250. Let's see what it makes now. Yes, it's like a donut star. Let me stop this. I hope you have understood how to use the ask command and the answer command from the sensing block. If you have any queries, you can always message me on the private comments in the Google Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. We'll meet again with another video.